Ready, Lil? Yep. This podcast is brought to you by Sunday Cool and Powered by oh. Sunday. Did you who messed that up? Cool. I did. Whose fault was it's that? Me. Andrew! As soon as I did it. All right, go. This podcast is brought to you by Sunday. No, you did it again. Oh my goodness. There we go. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. Please watch this or listen. Uh, hey guys just real quick before we start the episode listen we are now in the new year 2024 is here and we want to be your one-stop shop for every event that goes for your business for your church your vbs whatever it may be i agree Yes. I don't know what he's saying, but hey, listen, I just want to encourage you to go to sundaycool.com to order all your custom merch, hats, stickers, shirts, hoodies, everything you could possibly need for your event can be done here at sundaycool.com. Excuse me. I completely agree with everything Andy said. In fact, I'm proud of you, Andy. I'm proud of everything that you've accomplished. The one thing that I do wish is that you had your father. You heard the man. I didn't. I have no idea what he's saying. Um, but listen, sundaycool.com, love you guys. Now go back to the episode. Let's go. You are just a boy without a father and it makes me sad. It makes me sad that you grew up without him and I do hope the best for you. And I, but it's amazing of the man that you've become. Um, where do you go? Sundaycool.com, go now. Andrew got Josh a gift. Aww. It's space stuff. Space stuff. Space stuff. The guy said, check on your girlfriend, so. <laughs> yeah. He says a, a little bit of. I don't want to hold it. There's aliens on it. Ooh. No. And there's, just hold it. <gasps> That's heavy. It starts like. <laughs> right? That surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> Through the floor. Wow. Okay, give it back. Isn't that cool? So explain Didn't what that is. Like. A it's literally a. Oh, he's got piece. the sheet yeah. right there. It's uh, was it Argentina is where they found that one? Cool. <clears throat> Let me read. We herewith certify that this genuine Campo del Cilio meteorite, a coarse iron nickel octodrite that impacted the Earth around five thousand years ago. Discovered in 1576 in Argentina, the Capo de Cilio meteorite and its classification are recognized and accepted by the Meteorological Society. Nice. Nice. And it's stamped with an approval. I want to find a frame for that so we can <laughs> hang it right up there. Can you do that? Can you make just a tiny little frame that we can put that right would up be there? funny. <laughs> Cute. I love this box. Yeah, I know those are really popular right now. Like for like uh, people who collect things, because I've seen like that <laughs> Hot Wheels. They like point at like an angle and they do not break, and it's literally just like it's super so cool. cool. Would you? What would you laugh? I Why would that make do, you laugh? It's just really popular. Ooh, hot, for like Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Uh, walks. <laughs> what do you collect, Andy? Oh man, I don't know. Um, I guys, collect. Did hats you used to now. collect stuff as a kid? Man, I can't remember. I did. I Does, collected a lot of right. I collected a lot of like things that I just liked the look of like as far as art goes. Like I was never into Yu-Gi-Oh and like all that stuff, but my friends were. But I would like hold the cards that like I liked the the design on it a lot. So like I had a lot of collage things where I would just keep pictures and stuff. I used to collect marbles. Marbles, um, just all types. Yeah. Did you do it? What would you do with them? I don't know. Just put yeah. them in a bag. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at them. I did go to Haiti and they taught me how to play marbles. So yeah. Um, and I would collect like the little trolls, like with the hair. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. dude. I remember, dude, oh, you yeah. remember the freaking alien things that we talked about? Those oh, little yeah, tiny yeah, aliens yeah. you'd get in the vending machines. Do you remember those? Or the, no. the <laughs> yeah, the, the little tiny, yeah. yeah. What are those called? Uh, but yeah, there was like those little tiny oh, no. aliens, r the, the rubber and they had like different characters and stuff, but they were always this small. They were so stinking See, 90s fun. 90s alien. Dude, those Little Boy. quarter machines, Gumball more of the best, man. Like when you get the, like these stickers. Do you remember these? No, I don't, I don't remember those at all. Wow, wow dude. Some people in the comments will know for sure. Like but, they'd have them at like Pizza Hut and stuff. Like, yeah, like, dude. And and what other ones would they have? They would have like those. Um, 
golly, they would have those cardboard like slips of uh, when you get a sticker, it would come out with a cardboard. Yeah, yeah, oh, like yeah, sleeves, yeah. dude. Yeah. It was so yeah, yeah. fun. Do you remember, like, it was the best day ever if a machine dropped two. Like, yeah, get oh, candy man. Or it's like kept dumping. And you would just forever stay on that. And you, every time yeah. you go to that restaurant, you would always make sure. <laughs> yeah. It's like you knew which ones. Yeah. Like, there's a, uh, at the um, arcade up in near Leesburg, there's a ski ball thing that every once in a while, we've always gone back and it's worked every single time. You just hit the thing and it immediately just drops a new round of ski ball. Without, but like, without so, fail, and we just dang. we've just sat there for like thirty minutes with the girls sometimes, and like, I didn't spend a dollar. It was perfect. I also collected Pokemon cards. Oh yeah, and then my grandma were you into Pokemon? Like, or was it not like really? That's what I'm saying. Like, you just yeah. like the looks of I was them, right? Little, little, yeah. But like, I had them in like a a binder, the sleeves, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah lamination. And it, I mean, it was this thick, dude. And I know, looking at all these ones that are like so expensive now, oh, like, dude, I had some of those. You could be in early retirement right now. But my grandma said that they are demons, and I had to rip them up and throw them on in the trash. And that's where me and your grandmother agree. <laughs> so all of you guys who are, uh, you know, trading and playing the Pokemon Go still, repent, pocket monster. It kind of does make sense, though, if you think about it. Yeah, I mean, these it's, creatures that fight each other, it's and just that like, can, like morph and like kill you, but they capture them, mm -hmm. and they're like, then they release them and make them battle. Mm. That's just like demons. Absolutely, it's basically tarot cards for nerds. Yeah, yeah. Making Remember when Yu Gi Oh <laughs> tried to like be like, we're we're just as popular. Yu Gi Oh was pretty like they had their was, niche. Like it was they, like they didn't they couldn't keep up with the, the Yu Gi Oh people were always scarier than the Pokemon people. Like I yeah, I yeah. feel like they like I was always scared of them in middle school because it was just like they had an energy with them. Do you think Maybe people that love Yu Gi Oh more now have Android phone, phones? Yes, That's, definitely. And own snakes. And own snakes. It's not a bad theory. Let us know if you Let guys know. if you guys were Yu Gi Oh kids. Do you own a snake? And did you like Yu Gi Oh? Wait. Yeah, you're right. It's exactly what you just said. <laughs> and if you liked Yu-Gi-Oh, did you own snakes? And to piggyback off, piggyback off of that, guys, if you uh, liked Yu-Gi-Oh, do you own a snake now? <laughs> just keep rewording it. <laughs> um, Would you like a song? Yes. A sing a song, a song, a sing. A sing a song, please. Yes. Now it's time for Silly Songs with, with. Josh and Andy. Ah. On the guitar, ba, 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 ba. Andrew. Salute, guys. <clears throat> In the audience, Lilith. Oh, I need a drink. You mean you have Anthony Bourdain on the TV? Yeah. I gotta go change it. Ma, 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 me, me, me. He Anthony had one job. So and well. He had multiple jobs and didn't do the easiest one. Anthony articulated so well. How I feel about carbon monoxide when he said you cannot reduce the fear down to zero. Yeah. You cannot. The certainty is never zero. Yeah. How many, what would it take for you to get to zero? It, how many detectors would you have to have in your own per square inch? I, I would think I'll just what happens if all the batteries died. What was your question? If all the carbon monoxide detectors lost their battery at the same time. Dang. Mm, I should have bought you two. More like 70. <laughs> uh, Josh and Lily, what? What? Really eat the mic. Eat that mic. <laughs> <laughs> like Lily, I've got you maxed on the board. I have Andy like three clicks down, and Josh, you're maxed as well, and he's still louder than I'm us. maxed. Oh, maxed. He's but but, but on, maxed. No. X Games mode. X Games. Um, You're in the sports. Hey, do you want a song? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe we can come up with something. Possibly. <clears throat> hey, everyone. So the reason I'm on your screen right now is because YouTube decided to flag this song because we did an adaptation of the Lion King song. So, yay, YouTube! But after you watch this on YouTube, go to Spotify, Apple, wherever you watch podcasts, Patreon, the whole episode's on Patreon. So go do that after you watch this. So, yay. Good. We, YouTube's the best with copyright stuff. Right, Andy? They're the best. They, they never let it stop. <laughs> yeah. They never get away with it. All right. Bye-bye. Love you. <laughs> Wow, good work, you guys.
guys. That was good. Hi, I'm Mr. Disney. You're sued. <laughs> I apologize for the beginning of that. I forgot to screenshot the chords to the first verse. Oh, no, you was good. winging it. You're good. That was perfect. That's it was right. great. Was just, that was fun. Just ruined it. The end of the butterfly. That's so good. Thanks. That was a good one. Did you hear my click? You know how they do it in the Lion King? No. At the beginning? It's super cool. It's like whatever language. Is it Swahili? I, I don't know. I couldn't name it. But it's, it's one, just listening to that song is really yeah. beautiful. But yeah, it was yeah. a little, little nod to that. Where's Disney gone? Why, what are they doing with their songs now? Dude. Disney, why are you doing it? Yeah, that Chris but, Pine movie. Wish. Barf. More like. But think about fish because it fish stinks. stinks. <laughs> think about music though. Like we had Phil Collins and Tarzan. I know. Like that's where, who's our modern day Phil Collins? Dude, well, what about Manuel Miranda? Ed Sheeran. Just kidding. Hey, Miranda's no Phil Collins. <laughs> no, and I'll tell you that. I mean, his bop that he did in um, is no bop in mm. um, the new Mermaid. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he, everyone be quiet. I think he was just no. Stop, really stop, good. stop, stop, stop. Because. We can continue talking about this, okay. but today's question <laughs> makes me want to stop talking about it. Okay. Because this question is deep, scary, fun, in no way. <laughs> Please take this seriously. Nice. Hey, looking at hey, me like that. Hey. Goodness. I'm sorry about her. Today's question... Sent in by a viewer. <laughs> Are nursing homes necessary? Are nursing homes necessary? Oh wow, that is that is a very deep question. Yeah. And Mark, scary. I know. And not fun at all. No. Man. Yeah. Um I'm gonna say no. Oh. I don't think they are. Okay. No. All right. Andrew? Yeah, I guess not. Actually, can I change my question? My answer? <laughs> sure. I'm going to say yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to say yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. We got that backwards. Yeah, I think they are necessary. Yeah, yeah. I was. I, I think okay. I misheard you. And I really oh, yeah. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. yeah, it's okay. I apologize. I think they're necessary, too. Lily, okay. what do Maybe you think? Maybe I shouldn't throw me off or something? No, yeah. I mean, no, no. when have we yes. ever done that? Where, yes. Why are we trying to throw you off on this? Que just answer the question. Hey, let's not make this question about you, okay? Yeah. Because it's, oh. it's obviously about something very serious, right? Yeah, okay. incredibly it's serious. From a, it, it, this question is from a viewer, and they let's just let's just honor it. Are okay? nursing homes necessary, Lily? Yes. For who? For the elderly and their families. Okay. Hmm. Why would they need that? Just in case somebody can't take care of them and they need extra help. I think it's a great point. Um, who do you think shouldn't be allowed in nursing homes? Whoa. Terrorists. That's interesting. Because <laughs> if what Lily is basically saying is we can't extend grace to anyone and give forgiveness even if this so-called terrorist, this old terrorist, yeah. has apologized for all of his wrongdoings. I mean, that's in the past. And doesn't have anyone to help I him or her yeah, and God move for, on. God forgives that. God forgives that. Yeah, of course. And so if I'm getting this right, Andy, yeah. help me through this. Yeah, absolutely. Lily doesn't want to extend grace to people that need help. Josh, I think you just nailed it right on the head. Goodness I think exactly gracious, what said. Lil, this is I, scary. I did not say that. Oh my this goodness. is really dark. Guys, I mean. welcome to the show. <laughs> That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's always a pause of like, all right, now how do we do this? <laughs> Get her. Um, oh, it's all, hey guys, it's all good fun. It's though. all fun. Hey, it's all good fun. That's what we do here in the Ninjas Are Butterflies, Butterflies podcast passes, powered by, by Sunday, Sunday Cool. cool. <laughs> Did we film a podcast yesterday or Tuesday? 
Tuesday. 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 Hey, it's Tuesday. Hey, isn't it's it? Tuesday. Welcome. It's actually Friday today. Friday. If we, Friday. If we filmed the Christmas episode yesterday and you watched it that night, I've gotten really <laughs> good at my job. I just your abilities <laughs> are amazing. Hey, we get to party tonight. We do. Party, we're, party, we're going to Daddy's house. Danny's house. Let me hear you roar dance. <laughs> Dude, they, the, that would be the, the roar dance. Oh. The roar dance. We got to figure that out. Um, yeah, we're, we're having a, a marketing team Christmas party tonight. And client experience. Marketing and client experience. No. Yeah. yeah. It's marketing. That's my it's department. Marketing. That's hey, my it's department. Mar- hey, it's marketing. Mm. That's marketing. And marketing in it. Subgenre. Well, really, it's <laughs> content party. Subgenre marketing. Yeah. Sub sub genre. Footer note. Client experience. Client experience. Listen, wow. here at Sunday Cool, we 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 love you, but we just do not prioritize the client experience at all. <laughs> I mean, that's just something we don't believe. That's a core value of ours. Mm. We don't believe our client should have a good experience going to Sunday Cool. It's, right. It's I mean, literally the most important thing to us. Lily. Dude, I don't this know, is, I wouldn't this say is, that. This is the problem. Yeah. We were just this. gonna have we were gonna have a party, but none of us wanted to clean up. So we were like, Danny, if you want us to stay, <laughs> throw a party. Speaking of Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Do you know the history of why they ride drive on the left side of the road? I In do. America? In England. England. You know you drove here, right? <laughs> You're aware of that? You are such a brat. <laughs> Fight him. No, he's right. <laughs> on the on the right side. Yes. Hey. I do. I don't I don't I don't know why. Let Sorry, me though. take you <laughs> down. Just kidding, Andy. So uh I don't know why. You know you drove here. So the reason how it started, because everyone in the whole world was on the left side since the Romans. Okay. So the Romans who basically not invented the road but like made a bunch of roads yeah like yeah they like greatest, affected the roads. Yeah. greatest network yeah. yeah cobblestones what they would do is they would go they would ride on the left side of the road because the dominant hand was the right hand and so that would be you could take your sword out mm. and and joust and joust your neighbor get the guy that's riding this way you know nice yeah so they really put up a lot of thought into it and then Someone came along. Oh no! Who said, was it? I want to, to for us to ride on the right side of the road. Left side? I don't like it. And his name was Napoleon. No, no. really? Mm-hmm. Didn't know wow! That. When Napoleon started conquering the world, he was left-handed. Oh Typical. wow! And so he's like, "Yeah, on out, right side of the road, because works for me better." Interesting. And so for Hundreds and hundreds of years. Not really. It was like maybe a hundred years or so. Yeah. Um, even England was right <gasps> right side of the road. And they didn't convert back into the left side of the road until like the eight it was like eighteen eighty three or something. Oh why why do you convert back? Because they were basically like they hated Napoleon so much. Oh, so, so it's just like, trying to cut like, time. Wait, why are we doing this? And so they're like we're going back to the left hand, or yeah, the left hand. So they're just being stubborn at that point. It's like yeah. I we're show you. But then America all the cars and stuff, or yeah, so America, we were on the right side. Yeah, of course and we were. When on history and everything, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then when Ford made their first car, they put the steering wheel on the left side of the car. Really? Yeah, like the first one batches. Mm-hmm. Wow! And it caused so many car wrecks, and like because the spatial, like you're on the the um oh no sorry the right side of the car. Yeah, yeah. So Ford put the steering wheel on the right side of the car. But we were still on the right side of the street, yeah. And so the depth, like you couldn't, yeah. And so because they went from horse and buggy to a car, and so the spatial recognition, they're like getting in wrecks and stuff, yeah. And then his Model T, he made it on the left side. So remind me. So you have to basically the rule of thumb is you have to be on the opposite side of the car than you are to the road. Nope. So we drive on the right hand side. And the. And the seat is on the left. Yes. Right. So you're closer, your depth, you can see cars coming. Of the oncoming traffic. That's the biggest and thing. And then in England, you're on the left-hand side of the road, and the seat is in the right. Yes. yes. So I said the right thing. 
I guess it just sounded like a riddle when you said it. <laughs> if the left was to be the right, yeah, then the right seat should have been the left. Okay. If the left road was the right. Seven chickens is the answer to that, that riddle. That is a correct answer. <laughs> Why did they never just do the center? I thought about that too. Is it just because of passengers? Because yeah, it seems like yeah. that would be... Didn't they have some that were right so in the center? a lot of cars will offset the driver's weight with the battery weight. Uh, okay. Aww. But it would stand, like, put the heavy things in the middle. That yeah. does make more sense. To me, it would be so cool. I, I would love a car where I'm just the one up front, and it's like everyone's just chilling in the back. Like, and, like, that'd be, like... That imagine, would be dope. Imagine the design of it all yeah. would be so... You have, like, a whole console on both sides. Yeah. That'd be fun. I still want... That would be safe, too. Yeah. A lot safer because you don't have air... You would have airbags on both sides. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I still want a student driver car so that like road trips and the person next to me can take over and I can just chill. That would be fun. And right? That, it, it makes yeah. sense, right? The, the the trucks that you want, right? Those little tiny mini trucks. Oh, those yeah, are left hand left hand, right side. Yeah, the right. Japanese um Japanese mini trucks. I thought about buying one just because Kelsey's deaf in her right ear, so like she could drive and we could have conversations then at that yes. point. Like uh, it would be great. Cause every fun. time she drives, she's like, what? And then just starts, you know, veering off the road. <laughs> have you guys ever realized like you ever get in someone else's car and you got to fill it up with gas and you're like, I have no idea which side it's on. And we all know you can look at the little thing that yeah. tells that you changed which way. my life. Yeah. By yeah. The way. I remember that, like when I was 25, I was like, what? Me too. But like I realized it's like my wife, Subaru, you know, Japan, right hand drive, the gas tanks on the right side. Cause you get out and it's on that side. I put that together way too recently. Like American cars is yeah. on the left. Well, Toyota, my Tacoma is on the left. Because they're very proudly built in America for Americans. America! There was oh, a, yeah! Your model, the early years of it, they were like the most American-made truck in our economy. Oh, we, I know. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> we're I, a Tacoma family. <laughs> oh, yes, we're Tacomas. <laughs> uh, I've been learning recently about Japan on accident. <laughs> because of my algorithm, <laughs> would never and I love won. it. Yeah, yeah, and I love it because I had no idea. One, I did, just didn't know like just how important it was. Uh, I wouldn't if I was traveling in Japan. I probably wouldn't have thought of like, oh, I need to worry about like my dress code, like and their cultural dressing and everything like that, and how it is like if you're wearing if you're walking around with uh you know dirty socks because you have to take them off most of the time. It's like that's frowned upon. You know, holes in your jeans, shorts, and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah. oh wow. But have you seen how polite they are? Yeah. Yeah. How strict, dude. I had no idea. I saw a whole, it was there coming out of the subway and there's, um, I saw literally this. shoulder to shoulder going up to, um, flight of stairs and it's just packed. Right. And then there's one aisle of stairs right next to it, just divided by a guardrail and it's nobody. And everyone's going up and not one person sneaks up that other side. And they just like, cause wow. they know the arrows that's, you just don't do that. I'm like, could you imagine if we all just started working like yeah. that in America? Like yeah. <laughs> things would be. So much better, so much faster. We were uh, supposed to move to Japan in the military. Really? And, and, like, they give you this, like, brief before you go. And they said, literally, it's one of the safest places. Like, if you left, like, you left your purse at the park, you know, your yeah. purse at the park, yeah. um, mm -hmm. then you could literally come back the next day. And I think it's because their laws are so severe for mm -hmm. theft and stuff like uh -huh. that. But you could come back the next day and it would still well, be like there. It's like the kids in Japan. Dude, that's the dopest thing of all. So these kids, little little school kids, like, eight is age. They don't get walked to school. They wear these like vests, right? Yeah, and it's all it's color coded by like um how like if they need assistance, like if one really needs assistance, like you would be more aware of that color. And the whole culture takes care of them. Oh, so they'll help them get to school or like if running they need groceries. Help. Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing. Sorry, that's it. Well, I remember seeing <laughs> hey, it was like your it was like a trend on um TikTok, like because my algorithm is all like motherhood and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about like in Denmark how you know they leave these Danish mothers leave their babies That's in the stroller, so weird, all bundled up and stuff while they go have lunch, like literally leave really? their baby in the stroller. And they were <laughs> the the logic was like you know all these American mothers are like what are you talking about right now get your baby yeah and all these moms are like people don't steal babies in Denmark yeah. because who wants to feed another child and take care of another child I'm like mm -hmm. that's not really why they steal them here either though, you know? <laughs> yeah but um horrifying uh. That's so cool. I remember learning in at Disney too that in Japan when you're having like a business meeting or you're meeting someone, they have a very specific greeting, like gesture thing. And like even if you're handing someone something, the way that you hand it to them, 
you have to like measure if they're older than you are and all that stuff and so that you greet them properly. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like you have to put your hand under or something if and then they put it on top of their That's so cool. Yeah, I remember in like South Korea too, like no matter what, if you're sitting at a table, the the youngest has to pour the drinks for everyone. Oh, wow. And in the subways in South Korea, um, you'll get a ticket if you're sitting down and an elder, elderly person comes on, and if you don't get up and offer the seat, you can get a ticket. Honestly, wow. that's how we need to do See, it. See, like, For yeah, real. if you if you're not polite or kind, like that, you should get a, like a little tiny ticket. Yeah. <laughs> not much, but like a something. Tiny ticket. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a like, tiny ticket. Tiny ticket. <laughs> when when Takashi came to your birthday party, he didn't make himself a plate of food. He waited for me to like, hey, come, and I like started serving him, and then he was like, okay, now I can. So yeah, I was that's like, crazy. Like, I guess that's like for real a thing. It's so interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, America. I'm talking to you. We need to get back to the basics. I was in, I was at my OBGYN however long ago it was when I was pregnant with like Ew. Janie or something. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and they have this waiting room and it's always jam packed because we have no doctors in this area. Also America, doctors moved to Central Florida. But um, <laughs> these, uh, there was like this punk kid, right? With his pregnant girlfriend mm -hmm. or something sitting in the chair and all these pregnant ladies are having to stand up. Dude, and been, I would have said something to him. I like, feel legit. like it's like a it's like a self awareness thing. I don't think he's paying yeah. attention. I don't think it's like malicious, but it's like look around you, be conscious. Yeah, I remember when I was in. It's just weird how manners are different, even within the U.S. Mm -hmm. Like Southern and like whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I remember in when I was living in California, I was at a grocery store, <clears throat> and the cash register or the cash cashier. Um, she was probably in her forties or something. And she asked me something and I said, yes, ma'am. And she got so mad at me. Dude, yeah. What? She's like, I'm not an old woman. I said, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I wasn't trying to imply that. I'm like, I'm I've sorry. met women like that, that are just middle-aged women that are like, that I'm just in passing. We'll just be like, yes, ma'am. Like they'll like actually get offended by it. Yeah. It's like, that is not at all. Like I'm, when we moved to Texas, I was like, that's every single kid. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. To yeah. everything. Yeah. And it was yeah. never like out of a fear. It was just like. It was like, instead of saying okay or yeah, yep. yeah it was, a, that, it was said, the yeah. confirmation. Yeah, if you said yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. no, yeah, you were like yeah. Pah! Golly, dude. <laughs> what about what about like your parents? Was it like yes, sir? To your oh dad? yeah, yeah. Andy, no, no, we never oh, had yeah. that. Yeah, I didn't either. I called my mom. Well, you didn't have a dad. A so. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> wait, you called your mom by her name? <laughs> it's yeah. a joke. It made her crazy. But uh, okay, I thought well, you were Andy saying call me Josh. I said, I'm not Josh. It's she, Ada, Ada, yeah. she hears James and Jordy call you Josh. That's what it is. Oh. Demi and Zola do it sometimes, like when they're playing Andrew Logan. I'm like, <laughs> would you stop? <laughs> um, there was um, when we lived in. Uh, just talk about different cultures when we were uh, when i lived in morocco we we're sitting down and we had literally probably to this day the greatest meal i've ever had i've just remarkable it was just a bunch of chicken rice and just a bunch of homemade bread and juices yeah. it was wonderful and so we're all sitting down on pillows right it's just pretty chill we're all circled around and i get you know past a drink and everything like that and i take a drink and i put it down and then the person next to me takes the drink and takes a sip of it and it just gets passed around and I had no idea it was being passed around until I took a sip and I was like, Oh, we only have one glass. This is this is okay. And apparently it was just a normal thing, part of their culture where it's like everyone just shares a drink and shares it's the same cup. It's the same, uh -oh. same cup. I'm like, I wish I would have known that. There are some things that yeah, I just can't get down with. You know, I can appreciate another culture. But and too like in India, how they commonly eat the dishes with their hands and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I know it's a talent because you watch yeah, them do yeah. it and they keep their fingers really I can't eat chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, <they're with> real. <laughs> when Lil eats chicken wings, it somehow like ends up on the back side of her <laughs> just hands. Like a kid. Just like, literally, literally, he's she's like, like dude, can you give me a napkin? <laughs> It's like all over her face. <laughs> I get I get so particular with my wings now, just because like there's so much more room to make a mess, yeah. and it's like I so I'm literally I have to break. I use the two finger method. Break That's it apart. I do. I do that. Yeah. Um. I don't know if it was a coincidence, but when I lived in Montana, anywhere I went, if I sneezed, no one said "God bless you" or "bless you." Yeah. It was just silence. I'm yeah. like, what's happening mm -hmm. everywhere? Yeah. The one of the very first times I walked on my college campus, I uh, was just nervous and I was, ho I opened a door. This is a Christian college. I just opened a door for a girl that was following me and she says, I can open a door for myself and then grabs the other door and oh. then walks through. And I was like, 
What are we doing here? Dude, even if I have a boyfriend, (laughs) (laughs) I'm married. Even if that's like not the case, if I open the door for someone and like they're on their phone or just completely distracted, they go in another door, it'll ruin an afternoon for me. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why it gets me so- I used to to get so bothered when it's like, you're welcome. Yeah. And now (laughs) it's like to the point where it's like, I I know I'm not going to get a thank you. I don't care. It's not a big deal. Um, How far behind you does someone have to be for it to be okay? <clears throat> okay to like just go ahead and let the door shut if i've made eye contact with that person um <laughs> you have to hold it, it they could be a it mile ha- away it <laughs> happens in this parking <laughs> lot all the time because i park right next to the door and i'll like drive in past somebody walking yeah jump out I'd say like 30 feet 30 feet yeah I, you check the reflection you kind of like you kind of timing their pacing and because yeah. you don't because it makes them feel like oh Rushed. i gotta like i gotta hustle a little yeah. bit i hate the hustling it's like you're now you're making me do it out of yeah. no, because no no like when you hold the door yeah. like or someone holds the door for you and you're like way too far away yeah. and you're like okay, that's what i'm saying yeah, i yeah. hate i hate oh, that okay, they, yeah. they force me to do yeah. it it's like because if i don't, <laughs> I don't want to run I'm a jerk do you guys get upset when you're like waiting for a crosswalk and people don't hurry through. They just like, yes. gra- like I get it. If you're old and you need to take your time, I'll wait all day. Yeah. But someone who can clearly move it through and they don't. Yeah. It's, a, it's the courteous, like you're yeah, not even going faster. Just a little you hot. Just, yeah. You yeah. just look hot. like you're and going And go like fast. this, like, thanks. Yeah. yeah. What, what's, <laughs> what's your one like road rage thing that just drives you crazy? Like there what's is. the one like driving habit of another person? Okay, that fast, just, the fast, fast lane. lane. Fast lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% the fast lane. To, to me. Especially yeah. the highway, dude. If it's a two lane highway. And they're going the same speed. Yeah, yep. I lose it. Be aware. Yeah, <laughs> and or tailgating me. Like even if I'm in the fast lane, if I'm going a pretty decent speed and I'm actively passing people, don't get right on me. Like I'm gonna pull over. Yeah. Now yeah. I've asked myself this because I've got upset because people tailgate me sometimes. Why does it frustrate us when we get tailgated? Because it's it's a sign of aggression from the person behind you. Yeah, so but it's a middle finger with a vehicle that <laughs> with like a weapon that could kill you. It literally yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the, th- here's the thing. Lily does tailgate people, but not out of aggression. Yeah, it's oh, just she's yeah. just like I'm like Lily. It's so wait, conscious. You're I'm racing. Do t- you think she drives too close to people? You're saying I do? Yeah. No. Not crazy, Andy, but yeah, back, you get close. Back, back me <laughs> up. You're, you're you're not crazy. There are times, but like no, I don't think it's insane. Insane. I've, Shut I've, up. I've, I've, I don't know who I've drove with recently that like, I'm like, it's to the point where it's panic where I can't even look at it. Cause I'm like, I'm like, I'm also in the car. And if I, we get, we hit, this is a bad day for me as well. I also remember my parents, when there's a stoplight, my mom breaks way too far away yeah. Yeah. and my dad breaks last second. Yeah. I, it's both frustrating. Yeah, so yeah. I always keep like way too much distance between yeah. me and the other person. Like, it's like four or five car lengths because, like, I don't even want to deal with it. Dude, Paige called me out. Apparently, I do this thing when I'm at, like, a red light. Even if the light hasn't turned yet, I kind of am always just letting off the brake and, like, nudging forward a little bit. Do you guys do that? Yeah. Okay. Paige, it just drives Paige insane. I wasn't aware that I was, yeah. like, doing it. But, like, every couple <laughs> seconds, for some reason, I feel the need to, like, inch forward like it's going to turn the light. Dude, merging is what rages me. Yeah. It's, it's like, more. it's when you're they're driving and you're merging you go the same speed you're yeah, supposed yeah, yeah. to stay the same nothing changes i don't exist i have to yield to you yeah and so it's like when people break dude i'm like i'm planning to go right behind you stop it <laughs> yep. it, go, drives, go. it drives me bonkers speaking of merging though <gasps> jekyll island Ooh, jekyll island is that next to mr hyde Scary. Mm. Island? Don't do that. Jekyll Island. Ooh. The island full of mystery and Intrigue. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know Jekyll Island? Nope. No. Oh, I thought you did. It's in Georgia. Oh. It's Southern Georgia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, a lot of the elites, yes. rich American families, had their summer homes in Jekyll Island. Correct. Okay. Um, including the Rockefellers, Vanderbilts, the Morgans, which that's JP Morgan, the guy that yeah. was utterly opposed to Nikola Tesla. So interesting. Is Morgan and Morgan related to JP Morgan? No. Oh, uh, well, I don't think so. Mm, I don't know. Could be. But anyways. Is Morgan and Morgan nationwide or is he just Floridian? I think I it's think a, it, I think it's nationwide. I've yeah. seen a lot of commercials. You know he doesn't <laughs> you know he d- can't practice law anymore? Really? Yeah. Why? The cocaine. Oh, cocaine. 
I think so. I think that Coconut? was it. <laughs> if not, you just... <laughs> He's going to sue us no. for defamation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the I think do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know that I heard that he can't practice law anymore. Um, Continue with Jekyll Island. Jekyll Island has a lot of weird stuff. Now, this is actually on the beach? It's... Yeah. I Isn't mean, it right outside Savannah? Yeah. Okay. Or it's like south of Savannah, I think. It's like uh, close closer to Brunswick. Oh. Yeah. So what like a- right over the border of Florida almost. Why did I ever like not realize that like Georgia actually has... Beaches? Beaches. <laughs> it's, it's small. It is yeah, a small little section of yeah. Georgia. Never thought about that. But the history of Jekyll Island is a little scary. Okay. Okay. So there's a tribe of Native Americans that used to live there. A big tribe, which I did a little more research and found out something very interesting. Um, this tribe was called the Timokua tribe. Okay. Okay. And the first settlers that came to Georgia were French. And oh, wait, wait. Baby. And they got there and they saw these Native Americans and they reported them as being like almost giant Native Americans. Like they were almost all seven foot plus. Wow. And they were, one, super freaked out by their stature. And two, they witnessed them um, doing blood sacrifices by killing small people. Oh, goodness. goodness. And so. People small in stature or small in age? Age. Oh. Yes. Very creepy stuff. Both are sad. Um. But they had like an altar. <laughs> I love that you had to just clear that up. <laughs> by the way, I'm I'm saddened by both of those news. If I put in the other way, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but it freaked the French out. And in the middle of the night, they're like, "We gotta get out of here." Even though the uh, Timakua, they were like somewhat friendly, like they're like willing to trade. Yeah, they're like, "Okay." And after they just witness all this stuff. Yeah, but it's like, like, am I going to be next? In the middle of the night, they're like, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let us get out of here. Oh. Um, but the Timakua also were the native tribe here in Central Florida. Oh, their, nice. Their territory was huge. Georgia and like, like I think through Central Florida, they occupied Apopka. <gasps> they Whoa. named Apopka. Apopka. Yeah. So when- What does Apopka mean? It means- Potato, right? It means there's could be three three meanings to it. Big potato. Nice. Potato eating people or potato eating place. No joke. All three of those were my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> potato eating place. <laughs> How did they um, get along with the Seminoles? I thought that this was Seminole territory. No, not in Apopka. Oh. But they're a massive tribe, the Timakua. Nice. And But they would grow the potatoes along the banks of Lake Apopka. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Jekyll Island, I think that was like where like you could say the main um I it's like the capital of Timakua. Like okay. that's like where like all the crazy stuff happened. Got it. Anyways, fast forward, the Timakua end up getting disease and stuff because of the colonizers the and white whatnot. Man. The white man. Yes. And um years and years later, the Rockefellers came down and they said we want to build our summer homes here. Mm. Um, and each house had the name of a Native American or a Timakua chief, which is super strange kind of, you know? Yeah. Um, but they built it over certain parts. So it would be like, it wasn't the chiefs. It was so like where the main kitchen place was. It was the, that name and Timakua, the, their language. Mm-hmm. It's a little insensitive. But the Rockefellers built their house directly over the altar. Ew. The one on Jekyll Island. The one on Jekyll Island. The human sacrifice the one altar? That, yeah. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Directly over it. And Do you know if it's still standing? The, like, if like if it's like, did they... The, uh, is the it altar? hidden in like some basement or something? I don't know. It's un- I know it's under the house. Oh, my goodness. But they, they blatantly they built it. They knew that they did that. They knew that this was meant for this... And they built the house on top of it. Haven't they seen Poltergeist? Yeah, for real. I don't know what that is. We're here. Um. Anyways, they they, they buried their house. They built their house on an Indian barrel ground. Oh. So like that's the whole base so of the whole like, movie. And yeah. so it's like that's can't be good. Interesting. Um. But I just found that super weird. And the Rockefeller's house that on Jekyll Island, 
is where the Rockefellers, Vanderbilts, Morgans, they all got together with some other elitist families, and that's where they decided to create the Federal Reserve in that house. What year was that? That was 1915? Is that what we came up with? Yeah, it was. The Federal Reserve? It, no, it was right after the Titanic 1913. Yeah, then. so the 1913. 13 or 14, 1913 or wow. 14. Wow. Um, but I'm just like, I want to do more research into mm-hmm. the Rockefellers and like these big families. Yeah. Because I've been seeing stuff lately, dude, of like just their monopoly that they, like, so it was um, the Rockefellers, they had a large stake in oil. And so they like um, basically owned the majority of wealth of oil in the U.S. So they played a huge instrumental role in the manufacturing of cars and like us not going to trains or like even today. Like so we U.S. is like one of the only countries um, that's not third world that doesn't have like bullet trains or trains that are easily accessible all over the nation that go across nation. It's because of the automobile industry mm-hmm. and the lobbying and all that stuff. Right. But there was something with the Rockefellers too, to where um, he also got into pharmaceuticals. So we started basically making modern day medicine, which used oil. Mm. And so they, he got passed within the U S of getting rid of um, very uh, natural medicines and all that stuff. So I just, I want to do more research because I just, I found it weird. One, that they built their house directly over this altar, that it was intentional, direct, yeah. intentionally directly over this altar, the Federal Reserve was created, mm-hmm. which is a whole nother thing. And I, yeah, I don't know. I just want to like, there's something fishy with all that stuff. Man, yeah. it, it makes me wonder like, because all of it is so, we're so distracted nowadays. Like there's so much stuff to be distracted by and not really look into. But back then, it, it had to have been so easy to just understand like the growth of this um, country and yeah. take advantage while you could, when yeah. there was less resistance and get things in place and make sure that you and your family's family forever stays rich. Yeah. And now it's like, we're seeing the results of that Yeah, and it's getting nuts. It's yeah. strange that at the, the crux of so many of these big major events and issues that we're seeing in our country, that those names are usually at the helm. Yeah. You know, um, Do you know Van, uh, Anderson Cooper is a Vanderbilt? I did not know that. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Um, this reminds me, if I can talk about um, the place we got married. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? So or why couldn't you? So we in Central Florida, like there's not a lot of like, it's like a, a hidden gem. The place that we got married, the venue called the Sedoni Mansion. Which, Gorgeous. It was so cool. Which is um, just like on the outskirts of like Zellwood, which is like an area of a pop pit too. Um, and they're doing these like Halloween and Christmas tours. And Clarissa and I went with my mom's gal group recently. Gal group. <laughs> We're going to go and be gals <laughs> and be gals. <laughs> gal anyway, group. It was built at the turn of the century by um, a dude who was buddies with all of those guys you just mentioned, specifically Ford. He was like tight with him. Interesting. And he went on a hunting trip um, to Zellwood and well, he was hunting on this land that he ultimately ended up purchasing and building the Sedoni, Sedoni Mansion, which was only for um, originally a hunting lodge, but then just turned into their Christmas home. And it's got something like 13 bedrooms and like... It's, you saw a big yeah, yeah. That was their crazy. Christmas home. That's nuts. Literally just for the season of Christmas. <laughs> and I mean, it was new construction and they owned like something like uh, like hundreds of acres or something. Yeah. And they had like, a, they were really into exotic tropical plants and they had like this huge garden of exotic tropical plants. Um, and like pine forest, crazy stuff. Anyway, what's so strange about it is that they had this huge wealth, right? He was in the steel manufacturing business and like astronomical wealth, this guy did. And he also had five children, um, which at the turn of the century, they say just the way that genealogies work and like family trees and stuff like that. If you had that kind of money and that many children at the turn of the century, you would have like hundreds of descendants today, but they have three living relatives right from this family currently all the wealth is mysteriously gone and every single family member apart from one daughter died in that house and they only went there for christmas they were only there for christmas what are we doing (laughs) what are we doing here why did that happen dude there's something hidden there 
That's scary. I don't like that. It makes you think because it's like so, like just like on that subject, like it wasn't haunted because it was new construction. So I know, but could they Indian have built on top ground? of that Timokua? Yeah. Golly, yeah, dude, and this—that's really, literally in the epicenter of it, basically. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that's dirty. Spooky. I don't so like spooky. It. So spooky. Speaking of spooky, though, you saw that. Um, it was in where was it? Illinois or Iowa? It was like an Iowa city hall or some somewhere. I don't know. I forget the government building. The what do you call the state capitol building? Yeah, <laughs> state capitol of Iowa. Mm-hmm. They um, erected this satanic. Yeah. church altar and it had like this like goat head and it had a for christmas and it had this wreath with like a pentagram in the middle of it what are we doing what? <laughs> but then this this guy who was walking through yeah, who ex-military. was a, a ex-military saw it and destroyed the thing like tackled it and ripped its head off they and he's like yeah he's like i don't know what we're doing here he's like why are we erecting these satanic things in our state capital yeah and then he destroyed it and then immediately went to the cops that were in the building. He's like, I destroyed it. You can arrest me or whatever. Dude, but they that charged is him. so scary looking. Dude, I'm yeah, looking at pictures of it. It's a shrine. It's what? a yeah. terrifying shrine. But they're charging him with like fourth degree damages. I don't know it's what the. But the, the satanic church of Iowa is suing him too. Yeah. I, I mean. Like, I mean, I don't know. I get. I, I know the freedom of religion, but isn't there like a church and state separate kind of thing? To literally be in the Capitol building? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm telling you, I would probably destroy the thing too, though. Yeah. I'd be, yeah, yeah. but be smarter about it. Yeah. I maybe trip. Whoops. Yeah. And it, and it, decapitate. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It just seems, it just seems forced. That seems weird. Yeah. yeah. Golly. And that thing, yeah, that thing's terrifying. Yeah, it was creepy. How was that Christmas decoration? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. What is Christmas to the Satanic Church? Yeah. yeah. Why is would it their you? Halloween? Yeah. Krampus. What is all that? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's like, um, that's Norway. Yeah, is it Norway? It's uh, Austria. Austria, yeah. Oh, Austria, dude. The there was. It, I gotta think of Christmas. I don't Krampus. know what it, Krampus. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, like Halloween Horror Nights. How they have people just running around scaring. It's like, did you see like their little festival that they do? No. The Kramp- but okay. Well, when we get to my reel, I'll dig up a reel. Okay. And that'll be what I pulled. Terrifying. They, they came out with a movie. I saw it. Oh yeah, the one with yeah. um Adam, whatever his name is. Yeah, Wyatt. Yeah. Wyatt. Mm. Ben White. <laughs> oh, but speaking of state capitals, though. Don't say it. We got that. Don't go anywhere. Josh, oh. Yeah, I got to pee. Are you going to do the ad in the... Oh. Hey, Josh, don't leave yet because I have something to tell you. I know you have to go pee. Tell me. Okay. All right. Well, can you hold on? I hope so. Oh, you'll be able to wait until I get done with it? Uh, actually, yeah, you should actually. Right. Okay, okay. All right. Listen, guys, go to sundaycool.com, order custom merch for you, your group, your business, whatever you want. We can get it done with a 72-hour turnaround after Do our it. approval. It's the absolute best, and it's super, wow. super soft. Yeah. And go to sundaycoolswag.com to get our new Ninjas and Butterflies Man Fighting the Robot shirt. And if you... If you, whoa, he's transforming. Guys, listen, we will lose the war against the robots if you do not buy this shirt. So SundayCoolSwag.com. All proceeds go to anti-robot um, research. Yep. T- destroying the robot uh, universe. Destroying the robot AI. Yes. We so, will win. So if, you, if, you, if, you, uh, if you're if if you you wishing for the downfall of humanity, then just don't buy a shirt, I guess. Yeah. Just don't do it. Just don't. Yeah. But be, if you do. Be selfish. Yeah. Yeah. I can't, like, the kids need you. Please help us. Defeat the robots. All right, go pee. Okay. All right. Send it goes by that gosh. Go. Did you buy a Duck Commander hat? Because everybody says this is the um, Duck Dynasty podcast. I've started watching the new Duck Dynasty stuff, and it is wholesome and funny. I, I love I, Duck I Dynasty. Want Duck, hey, if anyone out there has any connection to Duck Dynasty, we want to do a podcast with them. Specifically Uncle Cy. Uncle Cy on this fun. podcast would be so much fun. Yeah. Dude. Dude, they've got they've got a treasure hunting series and uh I forget the guy's name, but he's just this uh old guy beat cancer. They're going to find things mm-hmm. and it's like literally just wholesome. This dude's having the time of his life with the guys. You should watch it. That's so cool. You remember when we were on Duck Commanders? <laughs> hmm? Because everyone says we're on Duck we were on Duck Commander, Duck Dynasty. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. 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 Um, but you know what time it is. 
Question Corner, Question Corner, Question Corner with Lily, where the questions are fresh on our mind. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. What is your Florida man headline? You can look up specifically your birthday in Florida man. Oh, perfect. But I don't think mine applies. Okay. Good question. Uh, to the day? Or yeah, just so the- like I type in December 11th, Florida man. And it says, Florida man drags female deputy while handcuffed. <laughs> Resist tasers. <laughs> mine says, Florida man tries to rob Waffle House with unique weapon. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh, I have, I've, I've got the most Florida ready in one, dude. Florida man charged on assault with deadly weapon after tossing gator in Wendy's drive through. <laughs> That's dope. Dude, That's great. I don't get this. Florida man with no arms charged with stabbing man with scissors. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> this, one, this one's a little more intense. Florida man accused of killing his neighbor after a cat wandered into his property. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Have you seen that video on TikTok where the cat keeps going over to the neighbor? And the and the neighbors are really mad. They're like, "Tell our cat to come back. Quit holding. Like, quit oh. having it." It's like he's like, "I can't help it." It's a he's cat. Like, he's like, "Then tell it to go home." He's like, "It can't speak English, <laughs> sir." <laughs> That's crazy. Mine, if it was true, mine would be like Florida woman um, burglarizes popsicle stand. Yeah. <laughs> I I <laughs> <laughs> that should be the food sponsor we go after. The hippo? I know, but they don't buy their shirts for us. Mm, hippo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Your popsicles are dumb. No, Lily, they're not. Lily will literally dr- deliver these shirts to you yes. every time they're printed. Yeah. Uh my another one says Florida man arrested after punching girlfriend who changed channel from Super Bowl. <laughs> 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 this one is a confusing one. Naked Florida man accused of killing suspected peeping Tom. Why was he naked? <laughs> I think he, he was, was being peeped, peeped at. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, if you're naked, that's your fault. That's what Josh is like. Why? Come on. <laughs> oh, those uh, Florida um, Florida man stories for the Bible. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that was one of the funniest things ever. If it said, um, let's see here. Let's see if I have it right here. Wait, what? Um, this is the quietest this podcast has ever been. I've been that watching this guy walk weird, on the hand. I don't like cam. it. I don't like that. I don't like that. Noise, 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 <laughs> noise. Meep, 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 meep. Um, while you're looking for that, did you know that supposedly uh, students in Germany, they have a book where they learn about U.S. propaganda? That's interesting. I know. And the book, I guess, is called... American dream. And Uh-oh. it's like it's like current day propaganda too. Uh oh. I'm like and I of course when I try to look it up, you can't find anything. Right. Because it's like Censorship. In the US. Censorship. <laughs> the US is like, yeah, this is the propaganda stuff that we do. That was the first time that thought ever entered my mind is when I learned about like what a VPN is. Like I didn't know. And it's like, why would you need a VPN to look up something that's happening on the other side of the world? And it's like shields. There's force fields of information. Yeah. Um, I know in Canada, there's a lot of, um, channels on TikTok, like CNN and, uh, just like a bunch of different, uh, TikTok accounts that Canada has blocked. Oh, wow. That you can't look at what's yeah. happening. That, it's like, that's weird. And I saw Twitter came out and they apologized. Um, they said they regret the decision of taking down like news stories on their own platform, including the one with like, like, uh, Biden, like Biden's son's laptop yeah yeah and it's like what are we doing guys yeah, like just exactly. quit quit backpedaling and it's like i know we can own up to our mistakes but it's like you're not it wasn't a mistake it was a yeah. stance and now you're just flip-flopping and it's just weird yeah i yeah this 2024 i think is not going to be a good year <laughs> i think it's gonna be a great year it's the year of it's the wood dragon of the winged dragon wood dragon wood dragon that's kind of cool yeah. it's a wood dragon i started to look at everything in its path what? It destroys everything in its path. <laughs> I started to look it up and got distracted, so I have no idea. But 2024, okay. Chinese calendar. This is our last podcast of 2023. Hey! hey. hey. Gosh, Aww. time is flying. Time, Golly. it's going fast. Yeah, it um, sure has. Dude, I feel like I've invited something into my brain Uh-oh. scrolling through all of these Krampus photos and videos. <laughs> 
Scary. Pray I, right now. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I had a, another story that I came across. I might save it for the half episode because yeah. it's really spooky. Are you guys what, getting what? ready to skip? No. No, no. We go. Uh, what was the thing I told you a couple days ago? That You're like, oh, you should tell that on the pod. You said it today. Like, no, it was like, uh, no, like two days ago. I was like, oh, man, there was something. Uh, with like the a, crypto thing? No. 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 It was something um, else. Um, get us a song. Okay. What could it be? What could it be? A song for the people's ears. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Andrew has a riff for us. It's going to be real fun. Okay, keep going. What's another one? Andrew has a real for us now. Californication. I don't know. I don't know how to say that one. <laughs> Just give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. Yeah. Andrew has a, Andrew has a, has a real now. <laughs> okay. That was tough. So, this is going to be going back to Krampus. Um, the whole festival is rooted in like there's Santa and then his devilish counterpart is Krampus. That's like the modern day interpretation, but this creature was invented or celebrated in old pagan ritual around the winter solstice. And if you look up what was practiced around then, it says in most forms of Wicca, this holiday is celebrated at the winter solstice as the rebirth of the great horned hunter God. And so cool. Interesting. Here, I wonder if it's like kind of like how people that would be our version of Halloween or if it's something more meaningful than that, because like Halloween obviously has their own. Like I found some videos that I just don't want to share because I'm going to put them on the screen. So this is like a milder version, but it's still terrifying. There it is. All right. You ready? You get it? Yes. All right. Ready? Three, two, Ew. one. You got to give it to them. Their costume design is oh, pretty it's good. Connected to the Apple TV. This is so, <laughs> come on, get out of here! And they actually hit people. They hit people. They hit people with those like those long, um, uh, the long twigs that are all bundled up. Bro. They smack people with them, dude. I don't like that. I'm gonna stop watching that. I mean, I mean it li- literally does look like Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, dude. And so I'm. <laughs> Ew. Uh, why is do that, they do that? But this is what they still do. They have cards that they'll print that say greeting from Krampus. And you know, like we have this tradition. Hey, if you're a bad kid, you're going to get cold for Christmas. Yeah. They hand the kid. Krampus translates claw. And so they give him a card, say Krampus is going to get you. Like oh how, t- goodness, how twisted dude. is that? What is that song off the office? Mind your rules. Oh, yeah. You better mind your rules. Because if you don't, you'll be eaten in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what you doing over there? <laughs> Lily's just Ryan Hill did three. Whoa! What? He's changing English it up. Muffins. Come on, dude. Uh, what's he trying to tell us? Yeah, well, you, <laughs> this is this is too much. We can't handle this. Oh, it's what oh, if, it's because it's his one thousandth. Oh, the knife. It, the knife is a one. Read the comments. The comments are always the best. I know. On those. It's so good. Uh, go off, King. <laughs> 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 Gotta live a little. <laughs> <laughs> They're so, dude. I. I honestly, I, every time I read like really good comments like that or yeah. like people, things that really make me laugh, I just, my faith in humanity just is restored. That's, I, know. I don't know. That's the only thing that gives me peace online now, I think. I know. Oh, but it's because the Apple TV. Oh, what? The, my, the volume thing. Let oh, me give you guys a little update on the Hooper household. Yeah. All right. So this is like is a little. I got it. This is a little like witchy. I ended up learning it's a Zodiac thing. So okay. out the window. <laughs> For us, right? But I had seen this thing about how the farmer's almanac, we all know what the farmer's almanac is, where it tells you like the best time to plant and do all of this Mm -hmm. stuff. It also has a parenting section for the best times of the year to wean or potty train. Really? And I saw on my birthday, it was a week to wean. We took Ada's passy away. Wow. And you're trying, and she's doing well? She, yeah. She hasn't had it in three days. That's crazy. Yeah. I I wonder what science, if there's any science behind it. Well, we didn't take it away. We, we like we chopped them. We, we you cut a hole in it, okay. and so like it, you can't like suck on it. Got it. So she's, she cannot she, maintain. She like puts it in her mouth, and she's like, ah. Have you seen? The, <laughs> have you seen those people that it. Uh, that plant them in the ground? Yeah, yeah, it's cute. And they come out the next day, and they give like a cool like gift or something. That would, would not work for Ada. No, she would just dig them up. 
yeah <laughs> instantly but if you do it right before bed and then when she wakes up that th- like something else is in the ground i think that we should get her a present this week for being such a good girl about it but yeah maybe we can go get like ice cream or something that'd be really cute cool but um we just said you're a big girl you don't need it she's oh, like that's awesome okay speaking of pacifiers almost though three years old huh she's almost three. speaking of pacifiers thanks andy speaking of pacifiers <laughs> Have you guys ever heard about the Pyramid of the Sun in Bosnia? Yes. You have? No. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to say yes. <laughs> no, I have not. You have? <laughs> um, it's crazy. Yeah. And it's very interesting. Okay. Okay, so I there's this. It's outside of this village in Bosnia called uh, Visor. 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 Okay. I'm going to go with Visor. 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 <gasps> Visor Bosnia. I don't even know how they the accent of Bosnian people. Oh, are. I have no idea. Anyways, I do. This uh, archaeologist guy, I don't need. I literally don't know how to say his name. I listened to it. <laughs> don't know how to say it. Doctor Osmanatic. Okay. I'm sorry. Osmanach. An, archa- an, an archaeologist. This archaeologist man, he was looking at this mountain in uh, Visser, Bosnia, and it was had four sides like perfectly four sides this giant mountain and he's like that kind of looks like a pyramid and so he started doing uh uh like uh excavations and stuff yeah and he found these giant stones that weigh up to seven tons each and they're perfectly stacked and they were uh they did some testing and stuff and they they're also stacked with what is it called? Um, um, lime. Um, line, line. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's called. Uh, they were stacked, and in the middle of these blocks was geopolymer, which is a like an ancient cement. Oh. And so he's like, "Yo, this is a pyramid." Yeah. yeah. And they did some carbon dating and stuff, and if this pyramid was built. It was built, based off the carbon dating, 35,000 years ago. 35,000 years ago. That's old. The Great Pyramids. 7,000, right? 7,000. 7,000 years ago. Okay. Um, And so... I'm starting to think that these carbon daters are like easy bake ovens. <laughs> yeah. It does um, seem a little iffy, doesn't it? Yeah. We need to look into that. Yeah. But anyways, this pyramid is over 980 feet tall. Jeez. Which the Great Pyramid of Giza... It's like 450, right? Yeah, I think at its its pinnacle, like when it was first made, it was like 481. Jeez. Yeah, 481 feet. Um, so that's like three Splash Mountains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, yeah. We, we got to break night? it down, yeah. We were watching the Christmas one, and I we Andrew said the height of the pyramid, and Liz like, oh, like Splash Mountain. I'm like... There's no way. And I'm like, look it up. And it was like, what, 40? 50 feet. 50 feet. <laughs> 450 feet. Could you Wait, imagine the drop? Like, it's like, try times 10. <laughs> you um, weren't joking? No. <laughs> I, I thought it was a bit. My my scale reasoning is so off. Your your, your scale for that is like my bean scale for cooking for people. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, true. Notoriously for bringing way too many beans to parties, guys. But the, the faces of this uh, pyramid? Mm-hmm are perfectly aligned with the um um what do you call it cardinal Sun. cardinal directions like more accurate than the pyramids of Egypt like they said the true north of one of the sides is off by 1 300 300th of an inch and then the great pyramid of Giza is off by 2 60th of an inch wow a uh, degree wise dude super well, you can weird say it's spot right on, though. but our planet is tilting yeah, <gasps> no, for real. Oh, so if it's so it could have been, it so been like old true, enough, true north. It could have been on. Also, yeah. inflation. Mm? <laughs> Was that a good point? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. good job, Andy. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, they did an EMF at the top of this mountain pyramid, uh, which is a electro electromagnetic frequency reader, and it was sixty times more than what is normally expected on Earth. Oh so it was gosh. like it was putting out some energy, and this is where it gets really weird is that he got shut down, this archaeologist, because Zahi Hawass, who is like the the lead um, Egyptologist in Egypt, yeah. pleaded 
with the Bosnian government saying, don't let him look into this any further. <gasps> Weird. And so the Bosnian government's like, hey, you can't go, you can't go dig up anymore. Dude, everything's fake. Our whole history is fake, dude. But then I'm convinced. Then over so this whole story of it being a pyramid, completely he got discredited, mocked by all these archaeologists, and the whole story just got swept under the rug. And then 50 archaeologists, over 50 far, uh, <laughs> fart, <laughs> over 50 <laughs> farting archaeologists, <laughs> over 50 archaeologists came out to observe it themselves. Yeah. And they, they looked and they're like, this is a pyramid. Yeah. This is in fact a pyramid. And he's like, I know, bro. And so they went to the Bosnian government and was like, no, we need to keep looking at this. And they said, cool, you can do that, but we're not funding anything. Cool. Yeah. And this guy, he's like this archaeologist guy. He's like blacklisted. So he's having trouble getting funding to do more uh anything yeah um look at this photo this is from the uh wow. like the stones being assembled oh my gosh dude yeah. those are huge but these archaeologists they did some digging and stuff and they found this giant giant tunnel <gasps> under it and cool. they went in there and found all these really ancient artifacts they even found a stone that looks like it has a map on it and if you take a if you get a satellite image of this place there's two other mountains that have a <gasps> pyramid shape yes. to them so it but they're also perfectly aligned this is so and it's just cool. like what's happening when did this get discovered um you know early 2000s also, i think golly, i don't know lee man like what's up okay why pyramids why that shape i think it's because they're energy reactors right it's yeah. because it's like pulling energy I forget about that I they heard, were little they were literally solar panels I heard, yeah. I heard a religious theory about pyramids and that, you know, the Bible teaches about uh, Jesus being the chief cornerstone. Oh. When you think about a pyramid, there's only a singular cornerstone. Mm. It's the top. Yeah. And then you have, dude, the symbolism with our dollar bills and stuff. Yeah. Pyramids have a very important yeah. symbol. I mean, like the meaning. It's I just have so to. weird that every single culture yeah. had... A giant pyramid. And it's a mysterious be yeah. like origin to all of the pyramids. Yeah. Except for the one in Memphis, Tennessee. Bass, Bass Pro, Pro. Baby. <laughs> Best one in the world. <laughs> um, Do you think that the, the Egypt guy was just like, because obviously the Egyptian pyramids are just a rip off of this pyramid because of I don't age. know. But this, that, uh, what's and his scale? name? It was like Zahi. Yeah, Zahi. He's the one that they discovered like there's a tunnel system under the Sphinx mm. and he's blocked it off. And he has gotten, he's basically the Egyptian government, like they'll do whatever he says. And like, he's like the gatekeeper of any new discoveries in Egypt, unless he's the one that discovers them. But he has his whole life's work of like, this is how it happened. This is like the history of the pyramids and all that stuff but they're finding more and more stuff that contradicts what he has said. Yeah. So that's why he's like, no, you can't do that. You can't dig that up. And it's just like, I'm calling for a revolution. Yeah. <laughs> why are we letting these one dudes gatekeep the history of the world? Yeah. Guys, we're four people right here. Yeah. There's a hundred people in this building. You know, that kid that made fun of me on uh TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> Go black. <-A>. Yeah. <laughs> how do you, I just still don't know how to say it. Go blecky? It's like I don't know. TP or something. I like said that. like go blecky. Yeah. And he's like go blecky, go blecky, go blecky, Pepe. I'll oh, do that again. Anyways, yeah. he was Bang making fun of me. Go Beckley. Go Beckley. Yeah, you guys That's are gonna it. love the fans are gonna love this story because yeah. we're on to something, and he's because he's employed by who? Uh, I forget. The Smithsonian. Oh, that's right. That booger. Yes. He works for the Smithsonian. He's discrediting you. You're the new Alex Jones. <laughs> no, that's right, baby. Hold on. Here's the thing with the Smithsonian. They're hiding goblins in the dungeons. They're trying to silence me. You know who, who runs the Smithsonian? The Clintons. <laughs> oh, AKA the lizards. <laughs> um, But yeah, he, like I saw in the comment section, like he totally discredits Graham Hancock. Yeah. And, like, in the comment section, all these people were like, yeah, Graham Hancock, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, dude, but, like. Have you been on Rogan, guy? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, he's they're making discoveries every single day that contradicts old history, you know? And it's like, I don't, it's like, the we can get into uh, the whole, like, Smithsonian thing, man. But, like, the 
bones of giants disappearing yeah. yeah and stuff and like let's let's do like a big chunk on the smithsonian okay like, kind of like all yeah. the conspiracies behind that i have a conspiracy theory about the bones of giants missing and involving the dna of nephilim Uh-oh. really but yeah i'll get into it okay. on the government wants yeah. to reproduce them or something maybe something like clone that. um but yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. I want to talk about that book I came across recently. Yeah, that's a wild that's a um, wild topic. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna, um, that people are going to be excited for that, but also yeah, I don't even know if I want to talk about it. I might. I think it's episode. important to talk about it. Yeah, um, give a warning. Let's play devil's advocate real quick. Okay, maybe we shouldn't know why about all. Oh this stuff. yeah, maybe because it would so disrupt the status quo. Is it worth like yeah. if what we would if what we are discovering. Like, what if it's so impactful and debilitating that people just, like, stop working and the economy goes to trash? Yeah. Or mayhem ensues. Mm. It's better to believe the lie. It's possible, depending on what the lie is well, or like, the truth is. It's kind of like the mummy, like the, the movie. You don't want to dig that stuff up because then... Zombies. Bad stuff gets out and bad yeah. stuff happens. It's just like those guys opening up that, like, the sarcophagus or whatever that is out in Egypt, like, literally in the desert, like, yeah. with no protection around. Yeah. It's like you're just opening up a whole it's- other realm right now to everybody. <gasps> <laughs> what if the ZB guy or whatever his name is, what if, he, what if he discovered the, that the pyramids are actually the, the chambers, the elevators, if you will, into hollow earth? The hollow earth. And then if you go, if you dig up too much, then all of a sudden we're going to have. Here's what Giant I'm saying. spiders. I don't trust any of that. I <laughs> I think I think there is some ancient history or ancient things, technologies that have been discovered that the globalist elitists of the world don't want to get out because it would ruin everything they've built. To gain power. Yeah, yeah, and money and stuff. Yeah, I'm talking like, like the free energy. Yeah. Like yeah. Energy. Tesla and like uh, the um, Maxwell from Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like if if everyone had free energy, oil industry collapses, you know, like. A lot of people are losing a lot of money. Yeah. A lot of people that want to keep that money. Do you, yeah. see, do you see where Maxwell lives now? No. He moved to California. He said, Africa rejected me. California is my home. Uh-oh. Dude, why wouldn't like. Um, what's his face? Elon Musk. Yeah, reach he's, out. To he's him. got it. Yeah. He's got his own Needs company to now. That guy. What if Elon Musk is a bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think every billionaire has got to be a bad guy in one, like a little bit, right? Maybe. But what if Elon Musk? You know, they just recalled basically every Tesla in the yes. United States. That's yep. wild. What if he's changing everything out to where he's like, hey, guess what? You don't have to charge it anymore. Could you imagine? Because <laughs> of Maxwell's be, technology. That would be the wildest thing. Like, it's like, a, like oh, this is so inconvenient. Everyone starts like, and then the stock tanks, and then like, no joke, it just skyrockets. That, that, that would, would be something Elon would do too. Yeah. Totally. He's, so like, he's like, we got to recall this every single Tesla in the US. And they're like, what? So if Why? You, if you and get you rich get- on trading Tesla stock based on this information, <laughs> share the love. Yeah, <laughs> please. Dude, listen, if I were Elon Musk, I would have round the clock security. I would have somebody tasting my food. He drives in a bulletproof car. He's do, good. He's worth two hundred and forty four billion dollars. But do you know <laughs> how expensive his house is? He lives in like he a little a trailer, thing, right? A fifty thousand dollar house. Yeah. That's crazy. And I was like, that's just awesome. I love that. Everybody's ripping on Jeff Bezos on that clock thing, but I'm like shook to my core about it. I just keep thinking There's about it. something to it. Yeah. They're that's too much money to be like. It's not like an our pro. This guy who was doing the clock uh, has had this idea since like eighty six. Yeah, and so Jeff is like basically the one that's funding it. Right, but it's like, what is there? And it, someone says it's a time machine. The idea is that it's it once it does outlast humanity, whatever yeah. civilization eventually does populate the earth, it will. It's like a living. It'll show them just how advanced yeah. our technology it's, was. It's called the ten thousand year clock. And so apparently it clicks every year or every 10 years. So I don't know. It's it's wild, man. Uh, hey, but you know when we got to get into? Our top five movies of 2023. I forgot. Uh, Lily. <laughs> no, she for, no, no, she I got her list. Down. Oh, she I forgot that we were going to do it. I forgot we were doing <laughs> it. I did the top 10 because I'm an overachiever. Because you, you have the capability of watching a lot of movies. 
I have the cap- you, I have the same capabilities that you do. No, Not you really. Don't, you don't do nearly the amount of work Josh and I do. That's true, but still. No, I, we only get like an hour, hour and a half a day to watch a movie. Make time. Okay. Stay up late. This get up early. This exercise did show me that I, I need to be watching more movies. I yeah. wake up at 3 a.m. every single day to watch three movies <laughs> before work mm. because I'm that committed to the cinematic history of our uh, culture. Who wants to go first? You want me to go first? You go first. That's why I just asked. No, let's. You go first. That's why I said. I'm. I know, but I'm saying I don't want to go first. I think you should go first. Okay, I'll go first. Okay, I would prefer that. All right. Actually, can you go first before? Yeah, I can go first. You? I'll go. Okay. Do you actually have a list? I do have a list. Okay, let's. You go first. Andrews first. I've only watched. We said top five, and I have only watched five movies that came out in 2023. Yeah, mm. the, the rule is they have to be released in 2023. I so, know. And all of us- mm, That's the rule. All, all okay. of us have not watched enough movies, and that's including no, me, so too. so many on the list I want to watch. Especially yeah. December. Yeah. Like, there's so many that came out just this month. So, I'll give you my list really quick. Fast 10, I couldn't even finish. Terrible. <laughs> Worst movie bad. from 2023. I, I had to try it. Yeah. yeah. Jason um, Momoa looked funny in it. It was horrible. <laughs> um, Avatar. We went and saw it in theaters. That came out in 2023? That, yes, that came out in December 2022. But it, it, we'll, we'll get this. It, it, it was enough. It, I, but we did our Avatar list. episode in January, okay, so okay. that counts. Didn't think it was great. That's fourth place. Ant-Man and the Wasp. <laughs> Basic. <laughs> Oppenheimer. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Couple complaints. What's number one? If Oppenheimer's not your number one, Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, that yeah, that's nice. good. Yeah, that's a fun one. That's my last one. <laughs> it's on your list. Um, it is on my. I only watched. Okay, I'll go. <gasps> Please go. I should put them in order then, right? Of like my yeah, favorite. definitely, definitely. All right, I'll, then I'll just At least number one. Right Typically, I have a number one. Work. I th- yeah, I guess <laughs> the top five that does make sense. I bet you ours is the same, Dad. No, I don't think it is. Um, I'll do my number five. Is Guardians of the Galaxy three? Okay, okay. That's the same so far. Um, is it? Yeah, don't yeah. don't. Oh. T- yeah. Um, my number four is they clone Tyrone. I don't even know what that is. Oh, is you that have Beck to watch it. I watched it when you the girls you guys were off doing something. No, it's not the Barkyard again. <laughs> it's a Netflix original, and it's, it's really so good. good. And it's it's a, it really is an original idea. It's yeah. so fun. The acting's incredible in it. Um, my number three is Killers of the Flower Moon. Nice. I haven't seen that one yet. My number two is The Covenant. Nice. Jake Gyllenhaal. Guy Ritchie, baby. And my number one is Oppenheimer. Yeah. Boom. Boom, baby. We have three of the same. Let's hear yours. Really? Five, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yes. Are you even surprised it's on my list? (laughs) Yes. Four, Barbie. I loved Barbie. Three, Killers of the Flower Moon. Two, The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. I absolutely loved that. I didn't know what that is. That's the um, Ray Fiennes short that um, Wes Anderson did on Netflix. Oh, nice. Yeah. uh, Yeah. Would you consider that a movie? It said it was a movie when I Googled it. Short film, I guess, yeah. Oppenheimer. Nice. Number one. Number one. Okay. My ter- eyes. My uh, number 10. I started at 10. I, I went 10, guys. <laughs> I was already making a top 10 list anyway. All right. Number 10 is The Killer. Uh, they came oh, out on oh, Netflix. Shoot. Yeah. I got to watch that. I'm going to yeah. take notes while you're talking. Um, number nine is Blackberry. Incredible acting it was in that good? movie. So stinking good. good. Very good. I almost, uh, it's kind of, it's better than Air for sure. Like that one that came out always on. Um, number eight, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Uh, number seven, No One Will Save You. That alien movie oh, on Hulu yeah. where she doesn't talk. It's really good. Uh, number six, John Wick 4. Uh, number five, Talk to Me. One of the most terrifying movies I've ever seen in my oh, life. Oh, yeah. Is it the, the smile freak, one? Dude? No, no, it's the smile. hand. No, that's the, the, the hand. hand one. You saw it? Yeah, it's so. I watched it by myself and it was so terrifying. I do not recommend <laughs> doing that. Um, number four, I thought you were going to forget it, but I'm so glad you did. They clone Tyrone. Yes. I love that movie. Uh, number three, Oppenheimer. Oh, uh, number two, Barbie. Loved Barbie. Barbie beat Oppenheimer. Dude, as far as experience and favorites go, I watched it with Kelsey on her birthday and we were having a blast and we laughed literally the whole time and it was such a blast. It was such a good movie. And number one, Spider-Verse. That Cross the Spider-Verse. One. That, that one is, is really so, I cannot wait for the last one. I still yeah. haven't seen any of the animated that Spider-Mans. You've got you've got to watch them. One. It's a it's really impressive. Have you, you have you seen them? She just hates anything. I'm telling you superhero stuff. It is 
It is in a whole other league of its own. It's inventing. It's a new. It's a new type of cinema. Is yeah. this what Ada likes? Yeah. The cartoon. It's it's an animated <laughs> movie. It's good, Lil. It's literally everyone's in like every person who's ever looked at it. Like it's in literally the top five movies of everyone's list everywhere. It like who <laughs> likes movies, Lily. It like did almost half a billion dollars in the box office. It's like one of the top five grossing movies of twenty three. Listen, what makes animated movies so great is that you can take any idea and you don't have to CGI it and like act it out. Like it's real and it's so good. And that the music in those ones, the the art styles, it's absolutely phenomenal. The storytelling is incredible. I bet you if I saw Napoleon, you it would, would be my number two. That's so I put Killers yeah. of the yeah. Flower Moon and Napoleon in my list as to be determined. Dude, you're gonna love. If Killers only of we the could have saw it in theaters. Is that what? Why are you looking at me? If only we, we could have seen Napoleon see. in theaters. How is this my fault? Because we hey, normally Lily, go see these the, movies the, together. Let's, hey, re, let's reenact this. Let's, let's reenact you know, it. They're, you know they're his children too. And he would have found a babysitter for him. Yep. He should have. Yeah, you actually, hey. you, you probably, you probably should have. You probably should have <laughs> yeah, just wait, like, Josh. hey, I got, I got a babysitter. Wait, let's hey, Dana, stop it. I'm, I'm sorry. You're right. You know, you should have done it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not the man's you're the, you're, job to watch the kids. Yeah. We're supposed to out, go out there and chop wood and watch kill movies, animals, make bacon, and watch Napoleon, <laughs> and perform blood sacrifices. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And start, the, and start the Federal Reserve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> buy an island with all the elites. That's what guys do. Yeah. <laughs> is it still in theaters? <laughs> Yeah, uh, but it's not in the IMAX. Probably. Uh, yeah, that is the, those. what was it that they chose instead of um, putting the, uh, Napoleon in IMAX? Oh. It was oh. some kid movie. It was Wish. Wish and uh, Trolls. I was Yeah, <laughs> Trolls. I was like, what are they, we doing? Wish and Trolls <laughs> took up all of the IMAX theaters. Oh, Wild. That would be really cute though tomorrow to take the girls to go see Trolls. Oh, the animated movie? The cartoon? For the children. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. We should go see Napoleon. I'll be Pedro. You can be Napoleon, and you can be nice. someone else. Your Kip, I'll be the llama. There we go. Perfect. Tina, I want to. I want to do Taekwondo. What, did you, what is this? Rex. Rex. Technology, <laughs> but not as much as you. You see. Hey, we got some fan mail. We haven't had fan mail in a while. You want to open this one? Which one I do you want? Still left technology. Or this one's already opened. Never mind. Hey, whoever sent us this one, Marcelo from Texas. Thank you for the Christmas card. Please open on podcast. Please open on podcast. It says, hey, my name is Marcelo. I am writing to you, uh, love to you two special people. I have never uh, met to send you a holiday blessing. Make sure your holidays sparkle with joy and laughter. Aww, Look at that cute little you. writing. Does it say to two special it's people? It's probably uh, for, um, it's like a 34-year-old writing like that, but let's go. Dear Josh, too. Dear Josh, Andy, Andrew, and Lily. Thank you guys for making the funniest podcast ever. I live in Kentucky and watch your podcast every Friday. You guys are absolutely the best. I'm homeschooled and I love your jokes about homeschoolers. <laughs> my youth group. You would, you homeschooler. Um, my youth group buys your t-shirts. Yeah. Let's go. Nice. And they are the softest. Sundaycool.com where we have the softest tees. It says this person. Who's it? Grace. What what's the name? You just wrote that Grace, letter. To Gracie, Reynolds. Gracie Reynolds. Gracie Reynolds. Gracie um, Reynolds. But then, uh, thank you for all that you guys do. I also work at a Christian summer camp called Camp Calvary. Cool. And she put she, she did her own plug in her. Um, Come on, Gracie. K Y Camp Calvary dot com. Wow. <laughs> nice. I'm can't, can't blame her for trying. I'm 14 and will turn 15. Uh, on January 9th. <gasps> hey, happy early birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, P.S. A question for the episode. Uh, do trees really do anything? That's funny. That's a good question. That's they don't funny. do enough. Um, if you guys had to choose to be in a movie, what movie would it be and who would you play? I want to be I want to be Wonka. Mm. Well, you'd be good at that. I want to be Wonka. I want to. Or the fat kid in the tube at Wonka. <laughs> mm. Either one, I feel like I'd be happy. What would you choose if you had to be in a movie? Know. Probably like a Disney princess, like Mulan or something. Nice. Schmeagle. Schmeagle. I'd do Bugs Life and I'd be the caterpillar. 
<laughs> I'm the little butterfly. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> Dude, Bugs Life is so underrated. I know. Dude, it it's is one good. of the best Pixar movies ever. Remember when Ants came out with it as well, like the same year? Yeah. See, yeah. that's that's I'm also fascinated. Have you seen like those money grab movies where they'll take uh like they know something is really popular coming out, so they're like, Okay, let's come up with our own type of theme, like the prestige. The Illusionist came I out know, weird. right before that because like, and but even though Prestige has been production longer, all this stuff. Yeah. So it's funny how they try to grab that stuff. Yeah. But. I wonder how it like where the inception is because you think about like right now in Sunday Cool, like we're trying to figure out what's hot and it's like, do you get a a panel together, like a focus group? Yeah. And for movie makers, they're like, what are you interested in right now? And one guy's like, man, I'm really into like magic. I'm really and into ants. Like, yeah. I love <laughs> bugs. <laughs> He's like, yeah, me too. I love it. There's probably a bunch of kids. They probably do that all the time, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Like focus groups. I think there's a bunch of drugs in an ant farm. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, before we go, I wanted to talk about this real quick because I don't know anything about it, but it's really weird. Yeah. Uh, that James uh, Yu guy. It's James Yu or James Wu? Um, is that guy whose house blew up? Oh, yeah, dude. Have you seen that? No, I know nothing. Okay, so this guy, I think he's Chinese-American, I think. Um, but supposedly, something happened to where he was like, the story is that he was like shooting flares in front of his house. Like he was like- In distress? Or just, no, like it was in a neighborhood. And he's just like acting all crazy and stuff. Cops show up. They drive the SWAT car through his <gasps> wall- and there's a video of it. The house <laughs> blows up. And they're like, he died. And then he, James Yu or Wu, comes on He's like, I'm not on dead. the comments and stuff. He's like, I'm not dead. What? He said, they're trying to kill me. Who? Look like, at look at that look at the video. It's wild, man. And this is like So what? apparently he was head of security for C F I U S, which I don't know what that is. Can you look that up? C F I U S. Um, what do you think it stands for? Committee of Foreign Investment in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we investing in? But he talked about like some of his stuff. Like um, they're trying to like delete all of his information off off the uh, interwebs. The founder was Gerald Ford. Ooh. I don't. I think that was the president. What? Yeah, he was. He was the president. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but uh, he was like making claims of like. Uh, they've already killed my mother. They've killed my sister. They're trying to kill me. No. He says because of the the information I've I've seen and like all this really really weird stuff. Why are we blowing up houses though? I, Seems a little on the nose, well, right? Like, what's this year? I swear I've seen like there's, four houses yeah, blow there's, up. I, no, I know three that I've seen like that absolutely in suburban regular homes, million dollar homes, blowing up. Not just like a tiny like. Catastrophic. Like, yeah, like, there's there's been an epidemic of people who aren't monitoring the uh, what do you call it? That, carbon monoxide. Yeah, 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 yeah. The <laughs> way <laughs> <laughs> she popped up. <laughs> hmm? Um, but let's just go down the you. conspiracy. James, you, you, okay, us. The concern. Um, if these people do know something, and the government's like, gotta get them out of here. Yeah. They're not even being discreet about it now. They're just blowing that's, up houses. That, that's my thing. It's like and not explaining what's happening. Like that one that blew up and it like blew up the other house too next to it, mm -hmm. and like a bunch of people died. Yeah, they said it was because of the water heater. Get real. Yeah, it's in. That's and I. Obviously, I don't. Like, I know nothing up. about it, but There's that seems no impossible. House Except now, like, how possible is that? <laughs> It's not. That's the thing. It's like, I, I don't know enough. <laughs> new I'm dumb when it comes to that kind of stuff, but there's that can't be possible. No. To level a house because of a water heater? Yeah, because everybody checks the pressure gauge on their water heater frequently. Yeah, every day. Yep. I do. I We don't do that. What? You I don't? Check it every day. No, you Lily, don't. Your, your house is in danger if you don't do that. What are you, you guys hold trying on, to do you've right never, now? You've never checked the pressure on your water heater. No. I check it literally what you, every day. No, what do you, you do? Yes, when I do. When you Lil? walk past it, you just walk. Whenever past I'm going it. in and getting water, I check it. You lie every You're time. Lying. No, every time you take a shower, you, have, you haven't once. This checked is it. real. You haven't once checked it. Since Guys, you you're gonna give me a panic attack. What, what are you talking about right now, Lily? Nobody does that. No, so when, I, when, I'm house, when I'm not home, you don't check it. Shut up. Thank goodness he's checking it. <laughs> goodness gracious, Lil. That's crazy. No, we don't check. We don't check it. 
I don't even know how you check it. You guys Can you? <laughs> Thank you for running with that. You guys like, just yelling at me. <laughs> He's like, you're lying. <laughs> what are you talking You're lying. About? That wasn't even like a fun gaslighting. It was like getting aggressive. <laughs> you're endangering your family. Do you love your kid? <laughs> you're so <laughs> selfish. <laughs> she starts crying. We still don't let up. <laughs> yeah, you guys went way too we far. We continue into the half episode. It just cuts. <laughs> and we do 30 minutes of just yelling at her. Oh, my gosh. No, so how um, dare you? Um, but yeah, James, you, that's super weird. Is my vein popping out of my forehead? <laughs> what? What are they trying to hide? Where are they trying to hide? Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know, man. Cause it's, man, I don't know. Yeah. What are we investing in? Hmm? What are we investing in that's so secret? Oh yeah. I don't know. Are they trying to, are they trying to produce fear though? Like, Hey, mess with us. We're not going to just, we're not going to just, you know, just take you out silently. It's like. We're gonna blow you. We're up. gonna blow your house up, dude. Mm. What a way to go, though. That's weird. To the guy that was in the police car that ran into the house, he died, probably, right? I don't think so. Really? That's what's weird. It was a cyber truck. Uh, nope. Oh. Um. Anyways, we're gonna talk about something very scary on the half episode. Yeah. This was kind of a scary episode. No. <laughs> You've been scaring me a lot. Why? What are you doing what do you mean? With your research. Yeah. Ease up. Okay. Don't do it. I mean, I, we talked about a pyramid. And then we talked about driving on the left side of the road. And then we talked about <laughs> an altar of the Timakua where they killed thing pe- people. And then the Rockefellers built their house on top of the altar. And there might have been some weird seance, creepy stuff. Baby that sacrifices. Board, the Baby Federal sacrifices. Reserve. Baby sacrifices. And then we talked about That's okay. um, that. <laughs> That's not that scary. <laughs> Come on. Right, that guys? Was a, that was our Ninjas of Butterflies recap. That brought to you by Josh. <laughs> yeah. That'll be the hook. We'll play that at the beginning. Yeah. Hey, guys, make sure to go to uh, patreon.com forward slash n- n- Ninjas of Butterflies. <laughs> n- 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 ninjas or Butterflies. type that out. Uh, and where happy we have, New Year. And Happy New Year. Have, happy a happy, n- have a happy one. And make sure to go to sundaycoolswag.com and get our new man-fighting... The robots, the AI. We will win. Yep. I believe that we will win. Yes, yes, yes. I believe that we will win. Yes, yes, yes. We I will defeat the win. robots. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, make sure to give us five stars on everything. Please. Please tell a friend about the show. We're almost there, guys. We're almost to a million. Almost you guys, there. You guys will know how close we are because we're filming this a little bit before. So you're going to know how close we are. All you got to do is just send this... <laughs> Friend, so, send this video to your text to your friends. So you whatever. Said the same thing like four times <laughs> yeah. in a row. <laughs> Just reiterate it because it's very important. We're trying to put emphasis on it. Get yeah. it. Get get it done. Yep. <laughs> Easy for you to okay. say. You will know. You will know. I <laughs> love you, everyone. I love you. I love you more. Ninjas. Okay. Bye bye. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja Jekyll Island. Jekyll Island. Hi. Timakua people. Giant Native Americans. Ooh. Scary. Terrifying. We lost it. It sounded good at first. I'm scared. You guys are so musical today. Oh, are we? <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs>